Hey everybody, Whip here, and welcome on back to another episode on the X Life SMP server. We are back here for episode number five. Last episode, we built everything behind me, and you all seem to absolutely love this build. So thank you all so very much for the support there. We're gonna be building up a little bit more of this guy today, but first and foremost, I've got some very, very exciting things to show you all. Whip has been a very very busy man working on the server here and i'm so so very excited for this one you might hear some mob sounds going on around in the background behind us because check this out right over here everybody i've got the mob sounds cranked down like a nothing we streamed last week and built up we got three zombie spawners that all work and it's a complete automatic experience farm right here so enchanting my friends is going to be happening today look at all that experience oh my gosh that's just seconds from being here and it gets better. It gets way, way better. This guy right over here is a double creeper spawner. So we have one creeper thing on that side. Maybe he'll spawn. Oh, there's some floating down right there. But anyways, coming down in here, I can show you all this lovely little spot for us right here. Look how much... No, I don't want that. Nah, we have a new mod that places your sword on the ground. It's really annoying. I already have filled up a whole double chest full of gunpowder, basically. That is insane. It's completely AF cable, and that's going to lead towards... Whip dominating the mark the marketplace on this server. My friends, I have the best idea ever. Knocking my torch off the wall. Instead of just selling slime balls like we have right now, in which we're going to be setting that shop up today, I want to expand the shop and also sell. After we can get a little bit more work done, we've got a little bit of work left to do to make sure this thing can happen here. Is I want to sell tiny mob farms. As Scott needs the nighttime right now, I think it's time that we move forward with getting a enchanting setup done. I, In the end, I do want to put it inside of this base over here, but this thing's more just for the looks right now until we get it finished up. So I'm going to throw it underground. I've got this awesome little pathway over here that leads to the second mountain where I would love to add a bridge stretching from right here to all the way over there so we can easily get up those places instead of going down and back up and all that stuff. But that's going to be our farming island. So we have a wheat field over there. We've got our sugar cane field right there. And it's going to be oh so good. But my friends, I'm going to get an enchanting setup done. Get some th things on this gear right here so we can actually have some cool stuff. All done with the enchanting now. And I didn't get the best of armor enchantments here. We got fire protection 5. We got fire protection 5. Okay, hold the version 1. And then we've got projectile protection 8. I guess those are all pretty good. But the big one right here, my friends, is this. Efficiency 5, unbreaking 5, magnetic diamond hammer. And then we got a silk touch unbreaking 6 on this one. But check this thing out right here. If I just lay down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... That's all there, and then we just literally just break that middle one. That's nine obsidian mined, right there. This has taken much longer than I thought it would to be able to actually get everything enchanted and geared up and ready to go, but my friends, we've got this efficiency five, unbreaking five, magnetic, fortune four, mending, diamond hammer, and we've got silk touch unbreaking uh, six on this guy right over here. And then inside of here, we've got a lovely unbreaking six, fortune four, diamond pickaxe, and we're ready to go. But we're going to take a little bit of a break for mining here. I've got everything here together. We're going to be building up a little bit of a wagon today, and I am so very excited for this one. I've got a pretty cool idea in mind, and we've just got to figure out where we want to put this thing. It looks like the One Heart Clubhouse is up there and ready to go. I love those little hanging rose vines. Those are awesome. The Two Heart Clubhouse is right there. We can't go in that one either. The Four Heart Clubhouse is over here. I don't believe it has been decorated yet. And then also on top of that, Joel has set up his first shop over here, being the Rotten Flesh, and I believe a leather shop with a giant gravestone and a hand coming out of the ground. I personally am more in favor of doing like the traveling merchant type thing. So I think I'm going to be setting up a little bit of a wagon. We're going right on the door to the Two Heart Clubhouse because they are scaredy cats. Not many of them will go out into the wilderness. So if we build a shop right here that is going to be able to meet a lot of their mob farming needs for them, I think that is a win-win for us. And to get ourselves started, we are creating a little bit of a platform right here for this wagon. It's a cart after all, so if we need to move it, we can get it out of here later on. And, you know, maybe if they want to buy this land back, we can happily just uh, tow our cart away from here. And it'll be a totally fine. That being said, though, we've got this little guy set up right here. We've got our nice little platform for it. We're going to be using a few modded blocks for the interior. But overall, I've got a pretty cool idea that we can use. And it's going to be face enough. 
in this direction right here we're gonna have this little bit of a setup on a top of it and we can have a little bit of area for you to sit on the front then coming to the inside of the cart we're gonna be making it a little tall it's gonna be a little bit on the taller side actually we're only gonna bring it up two blocks now that I'm thinking about it, I think I might want to make it a little shorter so for now we're gonna be leaving a few little weird kind of blank spaces for ourselves and then I do have this block right here which is going to be our ramp to get up and I think it's awesome doors acquired we can come in here and just plop that guy right down like there and then we're also going to have a little bit of a back area right on the edge because you know why the heck not and we're going to bring out some oak trap doors i know i definitely had some in here i do perfect there's going to be a little bit of like a back balcony area and just to have some temporary blocks in there to fill it in so we can place these guys going all the way around it gives us a little bit of like a back area for you can like get out of the cart and I'm going with like a mystical traveling merchant cart design of sorts. I don't really know where it's coming from. Some of them almost like what you'd see in Fable. I was recently looking at some fan art for that game. And I thought this was a very cool way that we can go about doing this. But what we're going to be doing here is uh, those ones actually on the bottom are going to be removed. I'm just trying to get a few little points for us to start stretching some things out of here. And then on top of this guy, we're going to be using these stripped spruce blinds which i think are so cool you can either have them open like that or you can shut them right like that so we're going to leave them all open so people can get a little bit of a view inside of our place and then we're going to have four little windows around this entire thing and then we are also going to be having one here on the front with a little bit of a spruce panel right there in it and then we're going to be doing right here because then that'll give us a little bit of extra depth into this one it's gonna be a very colorful roof for us as well we're gonna be going with like i have all these orange dye blocks which i think would be very very cool to work with so just to have a little bit extra depth on the outside to it coming onto this backside, we'll have something right into there. And then now we can work on the inside. I figured that I, I want to slow this down. A lot of people say I've, I've been building too fast, been doing a lot of things. So we're going to be building this whole little wagon here together, folks. We can come on the inside and start adding in a few of our little barrels where people can purchase things. We're actually just going to go with two of these. I love these ones because if you look at it, you can open it and the actual top goes up. I don't know if that means that we can actually see inside. So we put that in there. Can we see the item in there? No. Okay. That doesn't work. Not that cool. But coming over to this point, we're going to be having a smoker sitting right here. And then we're going to be having a vertical slab. Not like that vertical slab right like there and then we can have a little bit of a ventilation system coming out to the side here which is going to be with a small flower pot on top now moving on to the roof area it's going to be pretty simple we're just going to basically bring these guys going all the way across here and stretch this all the way along i want to bring some more color and bring in a little bit more of the wackiness i guess into this area which i think would be absolutely perfect then here we can kind of bring all this stuff up and bring that back down and then coming over here we can bring this all the way around as well and then it'll get us up to this point right here where I'm going to be bringing in some stairs and tracing these around the entire outside. And that's basically the wagon. I'll decorate it out and show you all the final touches. The slime shop is now done, my friends. And we've got this lovely little smoke pume of slime balls, go slime balls going up into the sky. And I love it so very much. I think that's an awesome little detail we can add in here. And coming on the inside, we've got our prices. Let me know what you think about these 16 slime. So 16 slime balls for one diamond or one mob farm being a wooden mob farm here is going to be four diamonds. They require one of each different type of mob kill or mob drop four bookshelves which in those is three books which is in that that's a leather and paper so those are kind of complicated to make so i'm gonna start out with four diamonds per and then after a while i think we might drop that one down but for now i've got this one pretty steadily in here so we can do that and then i'm been kind of just spreading them out a little bit you know making it look all nice and everything my friends that shop is now done be sure to go tell everybody else in the comment section that we've got the whip slime and mob farm shop i'll get that thing set up here soon but i think what i'm gonna do as I want to test out this here hammer for a little bit, we currently have about a stack of diamonds to our name, the Magic Carpet Blind Auction. It's a minimum of 20 diamonds to be able to do this. Name a bit of paper with your name and the amount of diamonds you'll pay for it. Minimum is 20 diamonds, throw it into the hopper. One submission per person, no redoing this submission, payment may, must be made up front. Okay, so we're going to go with that, and I'm going to just do this right now. We're going to go with, because we have the diamonds to at least afford us, we're going to go with whip and at 24 diamonds. I think 24 diamonds for a magic carpet is a pretty good way to go. We'll throw that guy in there. Did he make it in? It did. Perfect. It's off into blind auction land. And let's go do some mining to make those 24 diamonds. Well, my friends, it's the next day now. And um, I accidentally recorded the entire mining thing with my face cam on instead of gameplay. So I got this gem. Wait, where did, where, where'd you come from? No.
And then after that, I came through and started doing a lot of work that was also recorded with that same view. I don't know why I took three hours of doing that, but I've set up a smeltery system here that's taken round fresh, turning it into a leather, as you can see in my inventory. And oh my gosh, the emerald factory is in full effect, my friends. We've got these lovely guys right here with the cauldrons. They are leather workers. It is six, six leather for an emerald. So just like, look, look at this. There's 16 emeralds right there off of a stack and a half of leather. Now, outside of this, I've been working on enchanting and leveling up my sword. I've got sharpness six on it, and I thought that I could get sharpness seven, but that doesn't exist. So I went and traded Scott a lovely sharpness six book for a few diamonds to, you know, settle some things out there. And we're going to be doing a job for him in the near future. But to show off a little bit of the power of our lovely new mining hammer, I will show you all a quick clip right here of what that thing is capable of. It was amazing. I was just flying through there. It instant breaks everything in a three by three area. And oh my gosh, it's so fast. But the ability to trade all of that leather has led to me bringing in a few stone cutters right here for bricks. So all of that leather has just been turning right back into more bricks right here so we can build up something pretty sweet. Also, in that time, as I'd come through here and do the boring work of fixing up the storage room, every single one of these boxes is a double chest. So I doubled the size of the storage. And then I also found this lovely block right here, the sandy brick. I think that's going to be great for this build out here. We also have a new cat. Well, I don't know what we should name him, but please let me know in the comments below what should we name our lovely little kitty right here. And that brings me to the next topic in today's video, or the next build for today's video as we just covered a bunch of topics, is I hate going down this and back up this every single freaking time I want to go get over there and get more sugar cane or farm up stuff and get more wheat to breed more villagers. So my friends, we are kicking us off into good old fashioned time lapse mode where we are building up a bridge. And there it is, folks, our fantastic new Roman aqueduct inspired bridge. I think it turned out really, really well. I love this sandy brick area that we have here. And I have been working a little bit further down here below, adding in a nice little bit of a tiny waterfall that comes down here into a pool and then goes off this way and has it spitting out into another larger pool over here. I know it doesn't go off anywhere. And I also know that it drops down another block literally right here. So maybe we could expand it out and go larger into this whole area. There's another pond right here we could connect all up, all up into, but for now, it's just going right here. Let me know your thoughts on that one. But what I'm going to be working on next is bringing in a little bit of flowery, lovely life to this area. A large part of what I want to start doing is decorating these lower areas because we're living up on top of the hill, but I want to make sure that this area down here in the valley is also beautiful and pretty and all that good stuff for ourselves here. So adding in a few rose bushes around the area, I think would be cool. Then I also want to add in a little bit of dandelion action here so that we can get those lovely little yellow spots of flowers and then a few poppies to be like smaller red ones. Then on top of that, I also have some spruce leaves, which can for now be working as some lovely little leafy things. And then I also have a tree design going for a bit of like a cypress tree almost. And this down here now is looking a pretty sweet. I added in a lot more rocky faces to it. We've got in a few trees around. I've tried bunching up a few of them then having lonesome ones. So it doesn't just feel like it's just random tree splatters. So we got two, we got a one. And then we got over here, we got a one, we've got a one, and then we've got another two. So it's seven in total. I've got a lot of rose bushes around here. I do want to make a vineyard area somewhere down in probably that region where we have that bigger flatter area i think that'd be really cool to terraform and do a massive vineyard and everything down there but i've added a few benches up here and i unfortunately still don't have a way to get up to the top of the mountain 
But after we're on the top of the mountain, we aren't going to be falling down at all, which is awesome. So we've got this in here. That thing's fully finished up. I added a small pathway so we can get up to our sugar cane that also comes down here. But funny thing about this is these are coarse dirt stairs. For some reason, they have the attribute of being slime blocks. <laughs> so they make you bounce. And it's so funny. I love it. But they also kind of slow you down. So if you see any weird things going on while we're walking through there, that is what's up with there. But it looks very cool peeping over the edge and just seeing this little bit of stuff down here. Oh, I am so very happy with it. So as we all know, it's a little loud on this side of my base right now between, you know, all of the mobs, all of the villagers, all of the cows, all of the sheep, all of the everything else, my friends. And I think it's time that we need a vacation home from our vacation home. So we're going to be moving over to this side over here where I want to move the animals and give them some different pens on top of this area. This is mostly gonna be our farming place for now. It'll, we'll make it look better later. But for now, I just wanna be able to build a house over here so we have a place to AFK if we need to let this stuff grow. Because unfortunately, inside of my storage room, which is the safe place over here, uh, these chunks are not rendered in. They don't, they're, it's too far away, so they actually don't load in or anything like that. Uh, but up here, what I wanna do is just set up a little bit of an area, and eventually we might move all of the villagers over here too, but for now, we're just gonna be having our uh, lovely little animals moved over to the side, but I wanted to sit, that's not an X. Nice. As mentioned, I wanna create a small area where we ourselves can hang out if we're over in this area, or someplace safe that we can log out if we need to. So I was thinking we create a little bit of a room made out of this limestone stuff. So we're keeping the clean and pristine looking marble over for our build over there. So that's all going to be looking fantastic. And then on this side, we make some a little bit more on the basic side. So we're going to be coming through right here, adding in this lovely guy. And then I'm going to use a few cobblestone stairs at the front. We're going to go one, two, and three, and four. And then one, two, three, and four. And closing this thing in right here. And what we're going to use to make this area look all nice and pretty is just some spruce trap doors right here. We're going to use spruce stair, spruce stair, and then spruce trap doors right here. That'll make it feel a lot more like a doorway. And then, you know, to make it actually feel like a doorway, we're going to be adding some doors. Pretty perfect, right? And then from the outside, it looks like that. So that's going to be a really easy way that we can do this and make it look just a lot nicer. And now I'm thinking about it. I kind of want to bring these guys out a little bit more. So maybe we give ourselves a little bit of a balcony for this one. And then piling up the walls like this just brought it all up to being that four tall height. I'm just going to, we're going to use some slabs, just get ourselves up here. So I think what I want to do is unfortunately, this is called limestone here. And I think we only have a full block for it. Yeah, unfortunately, this limestone only has this full block, whereas the rest, like the other type of limestone, which would be awesome to have, does not have a full block. But what I want to do here is we're just going to be bringing out some uh, lovely slabby guys right like this and working our way all up the edge of this one. So to just be super quick, super simple, going all the way up throughout here. And in the end, we end up with something a little bit more like this. I think it's perfect for being able to house us safely from mobs over in here we've got a nice little furnace the only thing i don't have in here right now is a bed but one thing i did want to show you all that you all have been yelling at me about for my old animal farms that we had is uh, i was using the old fence gates don't worry folks we've got these but they don't work well with shaders so they're kind of ugly but i'll use them here don't worry we will use them and what i'm gonna do here is i want to just kind of do a little bit of something right like this going all the way along here so that'll be perfect now I get the fun job of moving all of the mobs over here. I might I might just lasso them and just bring a few. Boo. I I also I also have the chickens in my base. I think we make a little chicken coop. We're making a little farming outpost today, everybody, to finish this video off here. Why not? I was doing some Googling, and this is apparently roughly what like ancient grain silos used to look like. So I went with that. I know we're gonna go with a very modern interior for our house over there and most of that stuff, but I figured over here it'd be kind of cool to bring it back to some of the basics and just kind of have a area blast from the past of sorts. And coming over here for our lovely little chicken coop design, we're gonna be going with a little jungle trap door right here. As far in vanilla Minecraft, chickens can't jump over trap doors. Uh, so I'm hoping that holds true here as well. And we're just going to kind of surround this area. I know it's going to feel very sprucey, but that's fine. It's a chicken coop, folks. It's not going to be too amazing. <laughs> and that feels very sprucey. So I think what I'm actually going to do, which I should work, this should work for us, is if we get rid of these guys around the back, it should be totally okay. The chicken shouldn't be able to slide through there. Maybe baby chickens can, but we will see after we come back here. And then we're literally just going to be filling in everything along the top here. And do we have any stairs? I don't have stairs on me. I don't know what's going on in chat as well. But maybe stairs could look better to help it feel a little bigger. But I think that's actually okay. We'll leave it with this for now. Let me get some chickens. 
And now for the moment of truth. Hello, chickens. Oh, hello, chickens. Oh, there's only four of you in there. That's not too terrible. Let's go out this way, everybody. Our chicken soldiers are about to be marching across the bridge. They are keeping this very steady formation. It is absolutely perfect. Let's make sure I can actually walk back into the bridge. Nope, we lost him. We lost him. We lost him. Come on, guys. Hello. Hello. Come on, this way. All four of you. I need all four. All four, please. And landed. They're all in there. And if I go all the way over here, you'll see that they will not jump over the top of that. So that's absolutely perfect. And hi, guys. You all can have some... Oh, no, they can't go out. How did you get out of there? How the heck did you get out of there? And up there. Excuse me, Mr. Chicken. Excuse me. You uh, you belong in here. Oh, they're using... Oh, I think those things are letting them out. Well, for now, we have a bunch of chickens in here. And then, come on. So I think it is if they're on the outside, so like this is the border of the block, they can't jump over it there, but if they're on this side of it, they can jump over from the- that's so weird. And there we go my friends, we've got all of the animals in over here and that was a headache and a half. Oh my gosh, we've, uh, as you can see, the herds are much, much smaller now and they, um, they don't really like it over here. You're not a cow. Yeah, you can get out of here, buddy. You can go, everybody, cows over here, the sheep's over there, all right? And then we got our chickens over here, and this is a place where you can saddle up and get on a horse. I don't really know, uh, but we're going to be ending off today's episode with, can we fill our entire inventory here with the sugar cane that's been growing throughout the entire time we've been working here? That is a very satisfying sound. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Way. Oh, that is one thick field of sugar cane. Well, I filled the entire inventory and then got all of this. Oh my gosh, everybody. Uh, maybe we don't need AFK over here that often because that was a lot and I mean, even can still harvest this. This gives more than an inventory full of seeds. It's insane. That, however, is going to have to do it for me today, folks. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all did enjoy today's episode. We've got so much work done. The first shop is opened up and under, under our name here, we've got a bridge. We've got an awesome new place over there. I think in the next episode, I want to work on our main base some more as well. So let me know in the comments below what ideas do you have for things that we can include in that one. I would appreciate hearing back from y'all and seeing what other types of stuff you can you would want to see. I've got a few ideas, but let me know. And while you're down there, please be sure to click that like button. It means a heck of a lot to me. You all showing the support for this series has been absolutely insane. So if you want to see more frequent uploads for X Life, Please be sure to hit that like button. It really shows me y'all want to see that one. And subscribe if you're brand new and haven't subscribed yet. But my friends, I will catch you on the flip side.